Hey, welcome to Cooking with Ranger Rob. Grab your aprons and let's get started, guys. Before we get started, please take the time to subscribe, then click on the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. Hi guys, this is Rob from Cooking with Rob. And today I'm not gonna cook. What I'm going to do is talk about a few new things I've discovered to make cooking a little easier. Now I want to uh, dedicate this video to a channel called uh, Sam the Cooking Guy. <laughs> Think about that. And I just discovered this channel and uh, it's really down to earth. One is he uh, emphasizes we need to cook at home more. and. Boy, we've been doing a lot more of that lately. And I did, and I'm gonna put it on the screen here, just make a chicken fried steak for the first time. And I've never made one before. I've always been afraid of frying, and I didn't really want one of those fry daddy things or anything because it's just a mess to work with the oil. Which uh, he made me discover my uh, iron skillets again. So. I highly recommend if you get a chance uh, to get an iron skillet. I have two of them. I have a smaller one too. I got mine at Costco. And uh, I was making like cowboy breakfasts out of it. And that was it. But really, it's a wonderful tool for frying. And so uh, using a recipe that came from Sam the Cooking Guy, I made my first uh, chicken fried steak and it was delicious. And he came up with a really good recipe for um, gravy. And that was really easy too. However, what I found out is to simplify cooking, to make it easy at home, uh, you need to get a few tools. So I was finding myself going to the store a lot, getting a lot of cooking kind of things, but also a few resources and tools, and I had to go to bed and bath to get some too. One is getting myself a fry tray where you can, uh, it's this unit right here. And I got this at uh, bed and bath. And it's nice so when you're cooking or frying things to let the oil drip off, and uh, I just didn't have one. And so I gotta admit this Sam the Cooking Guys cost me a fortune, but in a good way. The next thing that really came in handy and I went to bed and bath to get these is a lot of you folks either cook with olive oil and he likes to cook a lot with avocado oil and because it's a good uh, high temperature oil. But <laughs> when I was cooking before, I was always pouring a little bit of this olive oil on my recipes and I'm usually using too much. So I highly recommend that you take the time to go to bed and bath and maybe some other places and get these little squirt bottles and then just put a name on them like this is my avocado oil, this is my olive oil and it's so much easier to disperse. You don't get too much, you can control it and uh, I'm just finding it such a simple thing to just move your oils to a squirt bottle. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Now here's the biggest thing that I always have trouble with and I'm just suggesting a way to do it is get yourself a little Tupperware container like so. And what I have in here is a 50-50 blend of pepper and salt. And I never did that before. So now when I'm cooking I just do a pinch of salt and evenly disperse my salt and my pepper. I also change my pepper to a kosher salt and pepper and <laughs> salt is um, kosher salt. I was using just a regular iodized kind of a uh, Morton salt and uh, I have found this to be much nicer to cook with. I'm also start changed over to a coarse ground pepper. Uh, the other thing is when I'm doing salads and stuff like that, I actually got a grinder to actually grind my own uh, pepper for cooking with. And yes, you hear Cinder in the background eating and stuff. The next tool I wanted to tell you about is, uh, I'll put a link to it in uh, the description below, is I have your normal blenders. I have a blender for, you know, the big ones for milkshakes and stuff like that. But there's just a pain to clean and all that stuff. Well, he was demonstrating in several, several of his videos uh, to use a bullet, uh, which is, this is what they call the 
Nutribullet. There's a, this one's I think a 600 watt. There's a pro version of 900 watts. And I thought that was kind of an overkill. I believe I got this for $59. And once again, I picked this up at Bed and Bath. I could have ordered it on, probably saved a little bit of money on Amazon, but I just wanted to get one. It's come in handy because I actually made a jalapeno sauce for some uh, chicken I cooked the other day, which was his recipe and uh, this came in very handy. I uh, also have been making milkshakes with it, so this time of year there's a lot of strawberries. Go buy yourself tons of strawberries, clean them up, freeze them whole, and then take like five of them, put a little ice cream and milk in this stuff, and hit her in there and you got a nice pleasant milkshake. <laughs> that isn't too sweet, by the way. Uh, in minutes and this thing just goes right into the dishwasher and you only have to put this little blade on it so you have two pieces and both of these clean up really well so I'm telling you change some of your tools and make cooking easier and I uh, I can pretty much guess that I've saved our household hundreds of dollars by now just from not eating out and we're actually getting excited about different meals. I'm actually going to make my first meatloaf uh, that is one of uh, cooking uh, uh, cooking with Sam, uh, Sam the Cooking Guy. I think I make sure I get his name right. I'll put a link to his uh, channel uh, in our description. And uh, last but not least, I want to let you know that we are sponsored by my product, the Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Uh, just like Sam the Cooking Guy, he wants everybody to have quality and he wants uh, good products out there and stuff like that. I developed my own pet poopy bags to be a little wider and a little deeper with handles. And also keep a lookout in the next month and a half, we'll also have these poopy bags on rolls and so with a dispenser. So that's coming real soon. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I mean, what I'm trying to do is show that an old fart like me uh, can start picking up some dishes and some cooking materials and actually make some great dinners. A lot of us, uh, while my wife is still working, I retired. Uh, it doesn't feel like I retired. Uh, but we, uh, uh, I felt that I needed to step up a little bit in the household when was cooking. And so... I started out doing a lot of basic stuff, but you know, you can only make spaghetti so many times. So I wanted to uh, have more variety in the cooking, and I'm starting to find it to be really fun. And so uh, I'm hoping that you'll find cooking to be fun too. I'll never be a cooking channel like the ones I'm referring to you, uh, but I, what I'm trying to demonstrate is being your average Joe your average person that just wants to cook good meals, have variety in your meals, and then make it easy. And so some of these things I'm showing you, like just the simple thing of having your salt and pepper ready to go, that means you don't overbalance um, uh, how you're uh, spicing up your food. And having your uh, cooking oils uh, readily available and not overusing, and uh, having a few tools that just make a uh, cooking so much easier and clean up so much easier. So I hope that's been helpful to you. I uh, look forward to making more videos on uh, Traeger days. <laughs> we have lots of fun with that. I am cooking some uh, pork chops I got at Costco um, with boneless and you can get a whole, oh I don't know, maybe 30 of them. And yeah, we uh, separate them in uh, two little we don't want, we, we're trying not to cook too much meat when we, you know, four ounces is really what we want to do. But um, anyway, I'm going to put some of that jalapeno sauce that I made uh, from one of uh, Sam's uh, videos. So anyway, guys, have a great day and thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to get some poopy bags. <laughs> anyway, guys, talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Then go down to the description and think about becoming a member of our Patreon. This will allow you to get special content just for you and help us build future content. Thank you.